What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing a model that I got from Panda Fox Toys. Without further ado, let's start the unboxing. So, uh, yeah, let's open the box first. And I really do like how Panda Fox uh, package their models. Like, the packages that they send, they're really well packaged. Like, they put a lot of packing tape on, like, some model companies, which, you know, sometimes their boxes come bent, uh, like, crushed, half crushed and broken. Like, there's no, there's no packing tape on them. Packing tape on them. Panda Fox Wars actually does a pretty good job in uh, that category. And I do think that they use two, um, two layers of packing tape because it's really thoroughly packaged. Um, but yeah, on the side, the box is ripped, but uh, the model's probably gonna be okay as this is um, not duct tape, uh, package tape top. Okay, so we have this paper packaging. We have our uh, model code, we have a coupon code. And yeah, now let's get to the actual model. Now, the model in question is uh, this United 737-700 in the Blue Evolution livery. Uh, now, of course, the reason why I got this model is because I need it for Newark a lot. Uh, United do fly a lot of 737s to Newark. Uh, the 737-900s aren't as common as the 737-800s and 700s, but the 700s are especially common at Newark because they're better for longer haul flights to um, low demand destinations like Cancun or Guatemala City, Providenciales, uh, St. Thomas, all those types of destinations. The 737 sort of fits into that category. But um, yeah, that's the reason why I got the model. And now let's look around the box. Uh, looking at the box, uh, I really like how NG designs each one of their boxes differently. Uh, this one is Blue Evolution themed. So you have Boeing 737-700 at the top. I don't know why they had to put the trademark. I mean, either way, it's trademarked. You don't really need to put it on the box, but um, yeah. Um, here you have the uh, clip out of the aircraft. You have the uh, Blue Evolution globe. It's the same as the um, old... Uh, which one called it? It's the same as on the old... Um, Evolution, the, it's, it's basically the same as the old Blue Evolution Globe. This is what the 737-700 box looks like. You still have the same um, old, um, which I'm gonna call a Continental Globe, except it's in the Blue Evolution colors. And um, yeah, so you have the clip out of the aircraft. Uh, you have sort of blue coloring dots. I don't know how you're supposed to call that. You have a blue and white line. I like how it transitions. Uh, and here you have uh, United registration, which is November 21723. NG Models logo, one to form scale collectible models, Boeing trademark. And on the side of the box, uh, this one isn't as interesting as some other NG Models boxes uh, on the sides because sometimes their colors transition, but on this one it's just white all around. And uh, of course, on the alternating sides of the box, uh, you have Boeing 737-700 United logo and U Models logo, one to four of scale collectible models. These two sides of the box. And on this side, you just have the clip out of the aircraft, the registration, the NG Models logo, and the uh, type of aircraft. But uh, yeah, it's the same on these sides, kind of reflects on the sides of the box. And yeah, on the back of the box, it's just the same as the front, except now you have all the warnings, labels, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, now let's open uh, the box. I'm actually really, really pumped for this model. This is one of the few models that I'm actually looking forward to getting. And uh, yeah. Okay, and uh, the model doesn't appear to come broken. Now the box, um, the model is really, really warm, but that's only because uh, it was left out for like, I think 20, 30 minutes in the 90 degree heat. It's 90 degrees outside right now. But uh, yeah, this is the model. And now let's transition on to the detail segment. Starting off with the detail segment for this model, we have the cockpit windows, Star Alliance logo, L1 door, forward landing gear. Now it says ETOPS on the landing gear. That's actually just to say that the aircraft is ETOPS certified. Uh, the reason why it says 0723 is because um, basically that is the aircraft's serial number. And here you have some sort of unintelligible handwriting. I think it's United slogan, uh, but I'm not 100% sure because I can't read it. But uh, yeah, moving on down the aircraft, you have the L1 door, uh, Blue Evolution United titles, you have the uh, emergency exit, antenna, 
you have the wings and the engines which are, which are painted in their United Blue Evolution paint scheme along with the winglets which are painted in that same uh, color. And moving on down the aircraft, you have the Wi-Fi hub slash HUD, the registration of the aircraft, which is November 21723, along with the American flag. Uh, you have the L2 door, along with the serial number of the aircraft. And of course, you have the wonderful, absolutely wonderfully done uh, United Blue Evolution tail. Now, let's take a look at the bottom of the model. Looking at the bottom of the model, uh, you have the landing gear, all the landing gear rolls, of course, and on the bottom of the model, you have these red antennas. Now, I don't know if this is an actual feature on the aircraft. I don't know why there's only two antennas, one placed on the right side and one placed on the left side and the middle side of the aircraft, but for some reason, there's no antenna on the left side of the aircraft. Uh, I don't know if this is a fault on NG's part or if this is actually uh, part of its real life counterpart, but I'm not 100% sure. And uh, yeah, on the bottom of the aircraft, uh, I like how they added all of these markings, which just makes it that much more realistic. And on the bottom of the aircraft, you also have uh, this handwriting. I don't know what it reads. I think it's supposed to read 737700, uh, but it is way too small for somebody uh, like me to uh read and really for anybody to read now the only difference between the left side of the model and um the right side of the model is that um on the right side of the model you have on the right side of the model you have the uh cargo doors meanwhile on the left side of the model you do not now of course on the um aircraft it's white on the top and then of course you have uh the uh, signature United Flourish, and you have this sort of uh, gray underbelly, which is really, really cool, and I really like that about this livery. Now, of course, unlike uh, Gemini Jets, the wings on this model are actually level, along with the elevators, which is something that it's good to know for those of you who are either thinking of buying uh, a 737-700 from NG or a 737 700 from Gemini Jets. Now, this engine actually looks a little bit uh, off. It looks like a little bit pointed outwards. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, I don't know if that's just me being nitpicky or if that's actually the case, but um, yeah, we'll see. And uh, of course, on the engines, you can see the fan blades right here. And uh, yeah, that's really all there is to this model. And that does conclude the detail segment. That being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys liked the video, please like, subscribe, turn the notification bell so you miss my videos, and comment down below what you got from NG Models May 2021 releases. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.